Shalom. This week's Sedra is Sedra's Nusso. As the longest Torah portion of the year, Nusso is sometimes dreaded. At the same time, it also contains the Torah reading from Hanukkah, which are the same sukkim repeated over and over. These sukkim are the gifts of the leaders, the Nesim, of each tribe to the Mishkan, the tabernacle. When Moshe called for the gifts from the people to gather enough material for building the Mishkan, the leaders of the people committed to give what the people didn't give themselves, to fill in the gaps. After all the gifts had been gathered, there was nothing missing from the materials needed to build the Mishkan. The leaders had waited too long. Instead of filling the need of what was missing, the Nesim, the leaders, all gave the same gifts to the Mishkan. There are two lessons that our scholars teach from this episode. The first is that a person shouldn't push off a mitzvah when it presents itself. A mitzvah is an opportunity, and when the opportunity presents itself to do a mitzvah, a person is best when taking the opportunity. The second lesson is the beauty and unity of each nasi giving the same gift. Instead of trying to best each other with the better gift, the leaders all agree to give the exact same gift. It's the first lesson that I'd like to focus on in this Tavar Torah. The willingness to fill in the missing material seems like a generous offer, and it's hard to understand why the leaders are criticized for their generosity. While it's true that they could have been quicker in their generosity, it seems overly harsh to criticize the leaders for a generous offer. Why have Torah scholars throughout the generations criticized the leaders? The character trait of zealousness, of Zrizos, is crucial to being a refined Jew. Rabbi Moshe Chaim Lozato wrote extensively about zeal in his work, Mesil Sisharim. The Ramchal, as Rabbi Lozato was known, wrote, The matter of zeal is clear. It is the early engagement in mitzvot and their completion. As the sages of blessed memory said, the zealous are early to perform the mitzvot. For just like the evil inclination causes and strives its strategies to cast man into the nets of sin, so too it strives to prevent him from performing mitzvot and to leave him devoid of them. If a man weakens and is lazy, not strengthening himself to pursue them and to hold on to them, he will certainly remain shaken out and empty of them. The Ramchal's point is that the benefit of zealousness, zrizos, is that the zealousness to do mitzvot beat their instinctual drive that urges them to skip mitzvot. But there's a second benefit to being zealous in fulfilling mitzvot. When one gets up early to do a mitzvah, when they rush to fulfill it, and when they don't pass up the opportunity to fulfill a mitzvah, they are exhibiting excitement for Torah mitzvahs. Excitement in Torah mitzvahs reflects an understanding of the importance of God's commands. A person is only zealous for things they care about, and they're only excited about things they think are important. Being zealous is an important part of being a knowledgeable and observant Jew. The leaders did make a generous offer when they pledged to fill in any missing material needed for the construction of the Mishkan. For this offer, they should be praised. At the same time, their lack of zealousness betrayed their lack of proper excitement they should have expressed for the opportunity to donate to the Mishkan. As leaders, they should have demonstrated their understanding of the value of mitzvot by rushing to be the first to donate to the Mishkan. The eternal lesson for Jews is obvious. It isn't enough to fulfill mitzvot. To be the refined and perfected Jew, a person must fulfill mitzvot zealously. It's important to get up early, rush to fulfill mitzvot, and do them with excitement. Shabbat Shalom.